On Thursday, the Hudson County Board of Chosen Freeholders made it clear they're fed up with the Jersey City Medical Center. Instead of giving them a contract extension for $112,000, which would make them obligated to provide health care to Hudson County inmates, the board decided to give a 10-day extension for $37,000 and threatened to begin using UMDMJ in Newark instead. Jersey City Freeholder Bill O'Day best summed up the issues the board has been having with JCMC recently, explaining why their recent actions have been disrespectful in his opinion. I believe it was six weeks ago. I requested four things from the medical center. One, a copy of the employment contract of Mr. Scott. Two, a copy of the consulting contract of Mr. Brad Yesen. Three, a copy of the written contractual proposal of the Jersey City Medical Center to their unions. Four, a presentation by the Jersey City Medical Center of their proposed use or reuse of Greenville Hospital that has been closed for several years. I was told I would get the documents, have not gotten them to date. Was told on the record that they would make a presentation on Greenville Hospital at the next caucus. They've never come here. In my mind, it's the ultimate disrespect to elected officials. Three of us stood on a stage yesterday decrying the management of that hospital. And now, and now, beyond that, we don't get simple documents. If I'm giving a, if I'm giving a, a institution that still has members on it appointed by the mayor of the city, and I can't get a copy of the employment contract of its chief executive officer, if I can't get the contract of a, of a consultant, which someone, and I don't know what the amount is, through an amount of $1 million that this individual is being paid to negotiate contracts, get rid of unions, whatever, whatever it may be. I want to see what he's being paid and what he's being paid for. If I can't see what their offer is in writing, not a, not a Reader's Digest, make it look the best way from their perspective, and if I can't find out what a hospital facility that's been closed for several years that is in my freeholder district <coughs> is going to be used for and when it's going to be open and be able to ask questions about it, well, you know, it's, it's, it's like the medical center, just <coughs> the heads of the medical center stand on the roof and, and they show us their number one but they use a different finger, and they turn the finger towards us. And, and, and it's just ridiculous. I'm not going to vote for this. I'm not going to vote for any other item related to that facility until they treat us with a basic level of respect. That's all. If someone contacted uh, us for a document, they would get it. And they would get it in a timely manner. What do they have to hide? How many times are you going to get kicked below the belt before you, before you fight back? Board Vice Chairman Jose Munoz initially asked for his fellow freeholders to keep the interest of the taxpayers in mind when freeholder Albert Tafeli suggested working with UMDMJ. Before, the freeholders of Jersey City were 100% on this issue. But like I said before, we need to find another creative way to do this uh, without affecting the, the rate of payment that we paid them. Uh, so, I mean, freeholder Tafeli had an idea with the issue with the taxes. We had to find the way to accomplish this without costing taxpayers more. And that's, that's a reason that I voted no and people booed me. And I think they didn't understand my position because I was supporting them. But I could also propose something that will cost us more money at the end of the day. And I, I mean, it's like if I had to pay you rent and I had a negotiated rate with you, but if I didn't follow the negotiated rate, I had to pay more rent. I mean, you would love that. Because I had to pay more rent now. So as a hospital, I think they would love that we continue doing this now because then now we are liable for more money than we actually had to pay them with the negotiated rate. Is it beyond your own possibility to pick up the phone line and call the board? 
find out and just say, here's our read right now. Yeah, we'll we'll switch switch can you match it? We can do that. After O'Day amended Resolution 23, the resolution with Jersey City Medical Center, the board approved it by a vote of 6-1 to 1, with freeholder Jeff Dublin voting against and O'Day abstaining. I'm John Hines with Hudson County TV. For more information, log on to HudsonCountyTV.com.